we are. This is lesson one of drawing the Pagani Zonda C12. And uh, I made a pencil sketch, and I hope you can see it. It's, it's very faint, and it's a little sloppy. Uh, what I usually do is I do a pencil sketch underneath all my ink drawings, and then I use the ink to uh, to make the lines straight and, and do what I actually want to do with it. So um, I don't think too much about the about the pencil sketch it's it's far more important to me to do the ink drawing correctly so that's what I I focus on and that means that uh, like I say the the pencil sketch can be kind of loose and kind of ugly but it always works out in the end so or it has so far so I'm expecting this one will too it's a really unusual car on unbelievably fast unbelievably quick from the start and uh, from what everybody says, they just hold the road like crazy. Uh, they're a very unusual car, very expensive car, very unique car. There are not a whole bunch of them around in terms of, of car numbers that have been produced. I think I saw last night that was something like 135 is the total production of all of them. So that's not a lot of cars. That's probably what uh, General Motors makes in three minutes. But, um, of course, they don't build anything like this, so makes a difference it's a true supercar it's uh, blindingly fast and uh, not very practical for the street there's no ground clearance has no way to go up a driveway or anything else but but if you drive in the right places at the right times and in a place where there are no speed limits like in germany and the autobahns uh, probably an awful lot of fun to drive anyway that's it uh come on back tomorrow and i will have done uh, quite a bit more on it so you can see it like i say i know that the pencil lines are not very visible but uh tomorrow we'll have darkened quite a few of the areas so that uh, it'll make it a little easier for you to see and then you'll know exactly where it is that we're going with this but uh, i hope to see you then thank you bye